Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's video we are going to see the basic hands-on labs of create and manage cloud resources. You will find all lab tour on our channel. The first lab which I'll be covering is free and for other labs you need credits. These are the prices of the credits. You need to buy these credits in order to start the labs, or you can simply buy the subscription and renew it monthly. So let's start the first hands-on lab. This is the basic free lab does not need any credits. Now open the cloud console in the new tab. Here you will find on left hand side the ID, password and the project ID. Just copy your ID and password in cloud console. Remember that this ID will active only till your lab time. Now go to API and services and select libraries, you will see all the different type of categories offered. In the API search bar, type in Dialogflow and select the Dialogflow API. The Dialogflow API allows you to build rich conversational applications without having to worry about the underlying machine learning and natural language understanding schema. Now click Enable. This will take you to a new page, hit the back button in your browser, and you will see that the API is now enabled. Now open the Cloud Shell here. Cloud Shell lets you run all of your shell commands without leaving the console and comes with pre-installed command line tools. Now enter the given command in Cloud Shell and hit enter. You will receive an output where active account is set to your Cloud IAM identity. Run the following touch command to create a file called test.txt and type command ls to list the files in our current directory. Type in nano followed by the file name you want to edit in Cloud Shell. This will open the blank file with the nano text editor. Go ahead and type in a message, Google Cloud and Quick Labs are the best. Hold the Ctrl plus X keys. Then type in Y, followed by the Enter key to save the file with the new message. Another helpful command is cat, which will output the contents of a file. Congratulations now that you're finished with your first introductory lab. Click on the end lab button at the top of your lab page. Hope this video helps you. If you enjoyed the video please leave a like. Meet you in next video there I will be showing how to create virtual machine.